The Senate parliamentarian on Monday said Democrats can use budgetary rules to pass at least one more bill than previously thought without the need for GOP support to break a filibuster, paving the way for Democrats to pass multiple sweeping infrastructure bills this year. In a statement, a spokesperson for Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said the parliamentarian advised that a revised budget resolution may contain budget reconciliation instructions, suggesting Democrats can now pass at least two more bills through reconciliation this year. The ruling, Schumer spokesperson stated, confirms the leader's interpretation of the Budget Act and allows Democrats additional tools to improve the lives of Americans if Republican obstruction continues. With the infrastructure bill slated to start in the House and take several months to get to the Senate, Democrats have not yet decided whether they will use reconciliation, but Schumer's office nonetheless called the ruling an important step forward and said a key pathway is available to Democrats if needed. Republicans have put up firm opposition to Biden's initial $2 trillion infrastructure proposal so far, with Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell stating it won't get any support from his caucus, much like the coronavirus relief bill passed last month without support from a single Republican. But even if Democrats opt to split the plan into multiple bills and pass it through reconciliation, it may still run into trouble. Senator Joe Manchin said Monday he and six or seven Democrats oppose the plan's corporate tax hike. 51. That's how many votes Democrats have in the Senate, with Vice President Kamala Harris as the tiebreaker, meaning they cannot afford to lose a single vote even on a reconciliation bill. This has given Manchin and other moderates like Senator Kirsten Sinema outsized power to make demands on leadership and the White House. As the bill exists today, it needs to be changed, Manchin told radio host Hoppy Kirchival on Monday when asked if he currently supports Biden's infrastructure plan. This bill will not be in the same form you've seen it introduced, Manchin added, suggesting it might be broken up into three different bills. The bill is also facing intraparty opposition in the House, where at least eight moderate Democrats have signaled they will vote against it if it doesn't repeal the cap on the state and local tax deduction and progressives like Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and Pramila Jayapal, have slammed it as insufficiently ambitious.